Jesus name we pray every prayer you have prayed on that picture I command the prayers to become testimonies in the name of Jesus Father, I'm praying for those who are celebrating their birthday this month. I decree that I shall be well with them. By this time next year, Jesus starts in his coming. There will be a bigger bundle of testimonies. In the name of Jesus. All the prayer requests that your children are brought here. Let those prayer requests also become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Rise to your feet now. Time to start prayers. The prayers are not ordinary prayers. And we don't have too much time to pray them. But I have confidence in Jehovah. And as many as who pray this prayer, their stories must change to glory. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Stretch it towards this altar. Father, I stand against every infirmity gathered here or anywhere you're hearing my voice. I stand against spirit of paralysis. I stand against the eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood. I stand against every form of pain. I stand against every witchcraft sponsored infirmity. I stand against them by the power and the blood of Jesus. And I bind and I cast them out in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are, receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Everything you could not do before, receive power to do them now in the name of Jesus. Let his hands become the hands of healing, the hands of deliverance and power in the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in your body, smite you with your hand 21 fold. Don't bother whether the place is painful. Smite it. Don't even bother whether there is a wound there. Smite it. It must go back to the ascendants. As you smite it, shout, Blood of Jesus. Let's go. Jesus. 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 Amen. Amen. Begin to check your body now. Put your faith into action. Do what you could not do before you got here. I see a woman being healed from a long time in family. I see the serpent in the womb crawling out. I see the power of God. Falling upon one brother over there. And the agenda of witchcraft for your health has disappeared. Check your body very well. Do what you could not do before. Yes, you have been healed. Once you notice that you have been healed and the sickness has disappeared, don't let the devil put it back. Run quickly to this altar here. Run to the altar. Don't allow the enemy to put it back. See what is happening over there. Somebody has been healed on the gallery. Something that has traveled your journey with you for years has just been shaken out. Check the migraine. Check the neck pain. Check the lumps in the breast. Check the swollen, swollen part of your womb. Check it very, very well. It's gone. 
Find a way quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This prayers, beloved. I want to do that for you. Yes, find a way to the altar. Don't be afraid. It's gone. You are, you are surprised. Don't be surprised. Jesus has taken over. Find a way to the altar. This prayers. I want to do that. They are to be said with acidic violence. They are prayers to address wickedness. They are prayers to address the enemy that does not want you to have peace. They are pressed to address plantations of darkness. They are pressed to put the enemies to shame. I want to beg you. Even if it's only few of these prayers who are going to pray. I want you to pray the way you've never prayed before. Let your voice be the loudest as you shout to the heavens. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Provoking secret tears in my life. Don't show to fire quick or call in a year. Can you say it with only anger? Your voice is not angry enough. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. seat of glory into the seat of battle can you shout it loud your voice is not loud enough what are you waiting for in the name of Jesus name we pray covenant of wicked elders that stole my glory your voice is not loud enough pray in the name of Jesus In Jesus name we pray Powers Turning into serpents To poison my life Can you shout it loud In the name of Jesus. 
Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. name we pray oh God Lord by the thunder of your power can you say this loud disgrace my disgrace in the name of Jesus Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your voice be the loudest here and let the angels hear. Know that you are serious. By your name, Jah. Can you shout it loud? My way! Open! In the name of Jesus! Jesus. 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 This prayer should be done in boiling anger. If you are not going to get angry, don't you bother to pray. Powers that have sold me before I was born. Can you say it with boiling anger? Before I leave this place, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Voices in my foundation attacking my next level. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus. A sound for the man. Silence. Some people have prayed this prayer. Within the next 48 hours. The kind of breakthrough you've never had before you your shall manifest in your life. 
the powers that are stubbornly sitting on what belongs to you they shall be violently unseated those powers attacking your children the lord has disgraced them here today thank you jesus bring out your task the unseen hand of god is still moving in the midst and i'm believing god for you you will not leave this holy ground without having your own testimony in the mighty name of jesus if you believe that rise up now shout three thank you jesus for god that has done all this let's go Let's rise up it now. And grip your head with your two hands. And shout out loud like this. The louder you shout it, the faster. Blind Bartimaeus did not say his prayers. He cried his prayers. My head! My head! My head! Hear the word of the Lord! Arise and shout! In the name of Jesus! Jesus name we pray lay your hand on your chest now shout this loud my blood my blood my blood receive the blood of Jesus kill every infirmity in the name Jesus then we pray the Bible talks about pestilence that walk it in the noonday and the example is infirmity flying all over the world now we are going to raise our voices like fire and like thunder every flying infirmity we are not your candidates scatter in the name of Jesus yes Jesus name we pray say thank you Jesus we continue our 40 dreams 40 prayers next power must change us but the ones we've done today has brought uncommon testimonies which have manifested which is manifesting and which will manifest 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Before you go, pray this one prayer for Nigeria. Eat us of flesh. Drink us of blood. Our sign against Nigeria. Destroy yourself. In the name of Jesus. Command them to destroy themselves. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord bless you from Zion. Make space to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. It is well with you. This month be a month of signs and wonders for you and everywhere you appear darkness shall flee and cover you with the blood of Jesus it is written that the highs that neither slumbers nor sin shall be your rock and your shame no plague shall move to your dwelling place in Jesus mighty name we pray I am going to pray now. And I want to amen to be super dynamic. Father, we thank you for this month of March. And we thank you for your people that are brought here by your power. We thank you because you have all our different lives in your hands. And we thank you because no one comes to this program by chance. No one connects to this program by chance. Those who connect, connect by divine appointment. And so as many as are hearing my voice now, as many as are connected to this program anywhere, right there where you are, I I decree by the decree of heaven that any power that does not want your story to change to glory all those powers holding anybody's glory captive all those powers that are sent over their dead bodies will you move all these strange insects strange serpents bending into people's lives all your honor stolen by the enemy bad tools that are inside the body to keep you from moving forward all the program of the helders of darkness that are frustrating anybody here in the name which is above all Jesus Christ the son of the living God I command those powers to die in the name of Jesus, Jesus, I command them to die. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. it is written Though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not coming, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down every imagination and every eye thing that exhausts itself against the knowledge of God. Every strong goal I sign against your star. I pull them down in the name of Jesus. I put them down. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anyone under the sound of my voice. Any you don't bow me. They have transferred your glory. They have transferred your virtue. Some are using your virtue as your glory. 
Where you are without them. Right there where you are. Possess your possession in the name of Jesus. Possess it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Powers that are the multiplying themselves against you. I scatter them in the name of Jesus. This next prayer needs a sevenfold hell shaking amen. Powers. Assigned to wear on you the garment of mockery. I kill them now in the name of Jesus. 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 Going to pray the second prayer. A giant sevenfold amen is necessary. Powers assigned to pursue you away from your place of comfort. I scatter them in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray a third prayer. I want your amen, sevenfold amen, to be the loudest. There. Powers assigned to make you beg from where you should not beg. I kill them now in the name of Finally, as I pray this next prayer, let your tenfold amen be stronger than any other person. And immediately you shout the tenth amen. This resurrection power, the volcanic power of the Holy Ghost will fall upon you. To bring answer to that, that prayer. Ribo oh God, arise. Oh Lord, let your enemies in our bodies. Oh God, God arise. Oh Lord, let all your enemies in our bodies. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. It's happening. It's happening. That's a powerful. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Baba, I Continue to lay your hands upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Because the prayers we're going to start now. We're going to continue next palm of strangers. This is why you must listen carefully. The prayer is called 40 dreams. Allow Goji 40 prayers. 40 dreams. Allow Goji 40 prayers. I will now go on and make some explanations. The topic is the voice 
of your foundation. And your dreams. The voice of your foundation. And your dreams. This will now lead us to the 40 dreams. 40 prayers. Listen very carefully to what I'm going to say. To lay a foundation for for the prayers we are praying. There is a lamentation in the book of Psalm. Many don't read it properly. <laughs> to understand, to understand what this means. In Psalm 11. Psalm 11. Let's look at it from verse 1. Psalm 11 verse 1. A lamentation from the psalmist. It was like this, as if there was a conversation between the psalmist and the enemy. That they were conversing. Psalmist says, Indeed, O Lord, put time my trust. So then, why are you saying to my soul? Flee as a bird to your mountain. So why are you threatening me? In, in, in God, I put my trust. So for lo, the wicked bend their bow. They make their arrow upon the string. And then the privilege shoot at the upright in heart. They are fighting the righteous. Now says in verse 3. Hmm. If the foundations be destroyed. What can the righteous do? If the foundation be destroyed. What? Can the righteous do? So, well, if the foundation is destroyed, it means the righteous has a lot of things to contend with. We're not talking about sinners now. Those ones are ready meat for the enemy. History repeats itself. It always does. Because no one listens to history. Experience and history teach that people and governments never learn anything from history. Most times they don't act on the principles deduced from history. When you begin to study history of man, history of tribulation, history of problems, or you are one of us who, when, who are interested in solution evangelism. You will learn some very deep lessons about the troubles of man. I want to pick just an example. There are plenty of examples. Let me pick just one. Moses. Moses. Moses led a fascinating and mysterious life. Moses lived a distinguishing life. An unparalleled life. Moses was the prince of Egypt. He was the giver of the law. Moses was God's faithful servant. The Bible says Moses was more humble than anybody on the surface of the earth. The Bible says Moses spoke to God face to face. Many of us are dreamers and uh, 
guess as but he spoke to God face to face. He will have expected that a fellow who spoke to God face to face, why should his foundation fight him? Moses communicated God's words to the people. He was a spokesman for God. For then he was at the same time a psalmist. So like some mighty was Moses that wrote it. Moses was an historian. Was a prophet like no other prophet. The Bible says there was no prophet like Moses that God spoke to face to face. A strange man. A mysterious man. A controversial man. But a man who lived an unparalleled life. He was the child of a slave. But at the same time, the son of a queen, Moses, he was born in a hut, but he lived in the palace. As I say, he's a strange man. By birth, he inherited poverty. But he enjoyed unlimited wealth in the palace of the king. He was the leader of armies. But also the keeper of flocks. He was a mighty warrior, also a very meek man. He was highly educated. He was educated in the court and dwell in the desert. He had all the wisdom of Egypt, but he had the faith of a child. He was a man who was fitted for the city but wandering about in the wilderness. He was very backward in speech. He, he stuttered. He was a stammerer. But he talked with God. He had the rod of the shepherd and the power of the infinite God in his hands. It was the giver of law and the forerunner of the grace. Trying to describe Moses to you now. He died alone on Mount Moab. But the same person appeared with Christ later in the New Testament. No man assisted at the funeral of Moses. It was God that buried him. But in spite of all these qualifications, there was a voice, a voice contending with him fighting him a voice pushing him fighting him tempting him fighting him fighting him and those voices come who we'll dodge it who come again Moses who dodge it who come again Moses who dodge it but eventually they caught up with him in Psalm 106 verse 32 106 verse 32 said, several times they had provoked this man in the wilderness he dodges it he dodges it but then one day did not dodge and that was it Psalm 106 verse 32 Angered him also at the waters of strife. So that it went ill with Moses for their sakes. It went ill for Moses. 
That is exactly what the voice wanted. The voice of his foundation wanted him to be in with him. Because they provoke his spirit. So that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. The voices of Moses' foundation eventually cut up. The ancestors of Moses have very bad temper. That bad temper has now caught up with him. Moses was born under the sentence of death. So go and drown all the all the males in the in the river. The father and mother of Moses, Amram and Jochebed, they gave secret cover for him for three months. And it's difficult to keep a, a baby for three months without letting anybody know there's a baby in the house. Those are, those are voices of deception, voices of death that have been hanging over Moses from his foundation. The name Moses was not a name given by God, it was given by the daughter of Pharaoh. So, may I ask you? Who gave you your own name that you are bearing now? Many are bearing the names given by their enemies. Was the daughter of Pharaoh who named Moses? It means the name Moses means drawn out of the waters. So, meaning that from the beginning of the life of Moses, he had been placed under the canopy of marine powers. What if it's a bear, a now was there fighting their own battle. Moses now grew up in the palace of Pharaoh. The palace of Pharaoh was the center of Egyptian demons. And the Bible says in Acts 7 22 that Moses was learning it all the wisdom of the Egyptians. He learned all the wisdom of the Egyptians. Oh, you say, what is the wisdom of the Egyptians? Incisions. Mummies. Preserve the, the body as it is alive. Juries. Architecture. Obelix, that thing that they put that has a tall point to them. Embalming the dead. Astronomy. Engineering. Pyramids. Magic. I look at it. Those were the wisdom of Egypt. I want to Egypt in here. Wisdom of Egypt. Upon Egypt. So Moses eventually lived for 120 years. 40 years was in the palace of Pharaoh. 40 years he was in Midian backside of the desert and 40 years it was a deliverer of the people of Israel from Egyptian bondage he wanted to be somebody God taught him that he was nobody. God eventually made him somebody. And so the anger of Moses was serious. Through that anger, he killed that Egyptian. Through the anger, he smashed the first ten commandments tablet that God gave to him. He smashed it. I don't know whether God forgive him for doing that. 
when the children of Israel were worshipping idols Moses ground the idol to powder and he made them to drink it no wonder when Moses died Satan demanded for him this one belongs to us but God said no so that powerful man Moses was susceptible to the voice of his foundation I'm praying for somebody here any voice speaking from your foundation talking failure talking death talking disgrace talking embarrassment by your tenfold amen I silence them in the name of Jesus Of your foundation can hire a lawyer against you in the spirit realm the voice of your foundation can move you from grace to grass the voice of your foundation can be the key to destiny abortion the voice of your foundation is actually the fountain from which demons are drinking water it attracts demons to your life the voice of your foundation is strong enough to defeat the champion in you the voice of your foundation can be the grave of your destiny that voice is the rope that pulls champions down the power that pulls down shining stars the invitation to disgrace a star comes from that voice it can rewire your brain to failure you say you have spirit husband spirit wife it can empower them it can bury multiple talents it disconnects a man from the voice of heaven it programs destiny impotence it punctures the virtue balloons and talent balloon of people the voice of the foundation can turn winners to executive losers and put cancer in many souls because of the way we live our lives running up and down all over the place because of that God runs a school in the middle of the night the purpose, the purpose of that school is in Job chapter 33 God runs a school in the middle of the night I find the school in Job chapter 33 verse 15 Job 33 15 God runs a school in the middle of the night let's see what the school is all about let's speak it from verse 15 in a dream or let's pick it from 14 for God speak at once yet twice yet man persisted it not so in a dream in a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men he stumbled upon the bed then he opened 
the ears of men and select the instructions as if he did the Why? That he may withdraw man from his purpose. And I pray for man. To keep it back his soul from the pit. And his life by perishing by the sword. This is talking about the mystery of dreams. God in his infinite mercy. Has designed to instruct men through their dreams. And like I've been saying before, your dream life is your spiritual monitor. Good dreams always end well. Bad dreams do not end well. There are 40 indicator dreams for those troubled by their foundation or for those the voices from the foundation kept harassing and tormenting. One. Sing corpses. Coffins. Attending funeral services. And you are still a young person. There's a voice calling you from the grave. Calling you from the grave. I'm praying for anyone here. And if there are voices from the grave, someone knew. I silence them in the name of Jesus. Let that man rule like thunder. Two. Is being handcuffed or chained. Do you want to shake, shake, money on the wall? I be one day your money. It means your hands are just there physically. They've been tied in the spirit realm. There are curses on your handwork. What must it be? I want to know. I'm better than some of you. What did they money? You know me. I want a gun. Better on Jaisi Awore. Three. It can marriage to unknown persons you are supposed to know the person you are married in the spirit realm you find yourself in a wedding ceremony and you have no clue Shuban, where the partner is from I'm praying for anyone here like this that you have dreamt you are marrying a strange man or a strange woman I divorce you from that marriage in the name of Jesus a louder amen for walking barefootedly if yes, like Wobata. When the enemy has removed your shoes in the spirit, it's a foundation dream. I like with any five. Wearing torn dresses. We wore a wutoti ya. Six. Ikefa. Air remover. Kiwama fire in your. Don't find air on the head anymore. You have air physically, but but spiritually you are born. Seven. Seeing yourself naked. Means disgrace and insecurity. Eight. Unknown persons beating you up. Nine. Gunshots and bullets and arrows. Fired against you. It's a foundation dream. I like you, Ten. Being beaten by animals. Foundation dream. I like you, Eleven. Unable to cross a river. I lay so down do. You know you needed to cross to that other side. You're not able to do so. Foundation dream. I like Twelve. Going back to former school 
former house, all those places you passed before, you just found yourself going back, going back, going back there. There are dreams of retrogression. The enemy is trying to return you backwards. If you are here now, and you are listening to many words, and you have been having the dreams of going back to the houses where you were when you were young, going back to your former primary school, going back to the apprentice place you've left, rise to your feet now. And with anger boiling in your soul. Even if you don't think you have that dream. With anger boiling in your soul. Can you pray this prayer while these angels are around? Assigned to return me to square one. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, Jesus, Thirteen. Max. I want me strange incisions on the body. You sleep without them. You wake up with them. It's a foundational matter. Fourteen. Wearing grave clothes. Fifteen. Finding yourself in court as the accused. Sixteen. Nursing a strange baby. Tito a baby pojuto oma jeji. Breastfeeding a strange baby. Hey, your ma fu oma jeji lo mumu. Drinking the milk of your life. Mumu wara ye reni. Seventeen. Iketa di logo loss of shoes. Iba te ni yonda wati or sandals. Iba jesa lubata iba shibata. Which transmits to marital distress yes it too must see our work in the way i will it's in it can do no loss of stealing of keys we put down a big one chick up for a money on the wall foundation dream i like the lady 19 is attacked by dogs it cock on the local it broke a lot of the one job the foundation dream i like the lady 20 is seen tortoises and snails oh good nigga you marry japa tortoise snakes they all mean slow progress. And when they you want to know, see it as what you call it. Twenty one. Swimming, swimming in the waters. When physically you can't even swim. It is foundation drop. I like the See masquerades. Those means ascension sweet and wishcraft powers. I will need to see a bar at a way me and you know twenty two. That those are foundational dreams. Allah, if you anyone really, really foundational dreams. Allah, if you anyone, I'm praying for somebody here today. Who bad love for any money be loaded? Any masquerade that has ever appeared to you. The ego can control to your theory. I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. 23. Begging for food or begging for arms. 24. Bleeding. Bleeding. That is loss of virtue and slow death. 
25 is cobwebs which is an agenda to make a person stale 26 bogus earrings and jewelries meaning slavery and domination twenty-seven serving others and engaging in hard labor yourself working working just serving serving cooking serving people just being there it's like that's like a spiritual slave Twenty-eight is sexual harassment in the dream sometimes waking up with pains and with semen all over the body getting out of body getting out of body and seeing your body on the floor on the bed so foundation dreams 30 a woman being violated by male and female personality. Thirty one is looking in the mirror and seeing another face, not yours. Thirty two is you find yourself in a different family setup, different from the one you have physically here. You could see another husband, another children, another accommodation, a different setting entirely. It means you are actually living a double life. You need to cancel that life in the spirit. And the thing, when you see parts of the body missing, 34 is falling into labor and delivery a non human material. That the five is marriage or wedding with mother or father. That is, this is sex with father or mother, which is ancestral spirit spouse. That is is fighting creatures. That you beat and beat and beat and they refuse to die. That's it. It's being installed as a king or a queen in an unknown place. Pursued by headless creatures. Headless scripture in the dream means senselessly destructive enemies. Forty is seen pepper, pepper, red oil, pepper, red oil, pepper, red oil. Ogoji ni ke ni yomari ata ebogupa ata ebogupa. This translates to extreme wickedness against you. Ele itu mosi iwa eka tole ke kalo disi. Heartless wickedness against you. Awo eka ti kola no wickedness targeted against your life. Iwa eka ti want to do the kaya ni yon. These are the forty. Dreams indicating that you do have a foundational voice to silence. This is why we need the program. Forty dreams. Forty prayers. Each of these dreams that I've just mentioned, it will take us one hour. 
thoroughly explain the implication of each one the kind, that kind of time luxury we don't have at this program and the purpose of explanation is for you to understand how to fight he is a useless soldier who has a gun and he's asking why is the enemy why is the enemy he doesn't even know where to shoot or who to shoot the purpose of this teaching is to expose the enemy so that you can fire a direct arrow sharp shooting arrow before you can participate in this kind of prayer you need to surrender your life to Jesus you need to become a friend of God you need to repent from all your known sin you will be part of the winning team you have an opportunity today to deal with this thorn then we continue next time right there where you are why all eyes are closed you say pastor I had what to say I want to be delivered I want to surrender my life to Jesus wherever you are just get up on your seat and find a way to meet at the altar here we shall wait for you at the altar here find your way here very very quickly if you are coming take your bag along if you have a bag find a way to this altar very very quickly Jesus is waiting for you here this is not a day to negotiate it's not a day to play with the enemy it's a day of victory and power but for you to access that power and that victory you need to surrender your life to Jesus so find a way to this altar very God bless us to do so
Mr. Fia the Hunter, I congratulate you taking the most important decision in life. But down your heads. Say what I'm going to say now. After. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children. Oh, I've surrendered their life to Jesus today. Keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are, the counselors will discuss with you. I will tell you what to do. The rest of us, let's bow down our heads and speak to the Lord like this. Say, Father, today, today, I must fight and I must win.